We've covered him before. Police say Theron Johnson has a long rap sheet that includes racist attacks. A lot of those cases, though, have been dismissed. But News 13 Stephanie Chavez explains what he's done this time that could keep him behind bars. She's live near Wantabo and Indian School. Johnson was in federal court this morning. He's accused of attacking someone at this post office right behind me. Now, because that attack happened at the post office, he's being charged federally. The criminal complaint says Johnson approached the victim outside the post office near Wantabo and Indian School, asking where they were from. When the victim told him India, the report says Johnson attacked them, hitting and kicking them. You'll recall Johnson was also charged with vandalizing the Taste of India restaurant. Johnson is seen in this video throwing bottles at the restaurant and taking a trash can to the window. He also left behind handwritten notes with racial slurs. That case has since been dismissed because again, he was found incompetent to stand trial. Back in 2013, Johnson pled guilty to beating up a mailman, another federal charge. He was given credit for time served in that case and only spent about a year behind bars. Prior to that conviction, Johnson had been arrested more than two dozen times for similar attacks, including a case in 2007 when more than a dozen UNM students said Johnson had punched or kicked them. There's an Indian man threatened Bob from Assault Law with a gun and now I want 12 Chinese girlfriends. We asked the United States attorney why Johnson isn't being charged with a hate crime in this case, but they declined to comment. Now, during his initial appearance this morning, the court decided to keep him locked up until his preliminary hearing, which is scheduled for next week. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. After the Taste of India case was dismissed, the Bernalillo County District Attorney requested Johnson be held in the Behavioral Health Institute in Las Vegas, New Mexico, because he's a threat to the community. That also got dismissed this month because the court said the DA did not prove he was a danger.